The question for today, what is Aspera? Hi, my name is Tom Malloy. I've raised over $25 million for financing movies. I've produced at the time of this video 17 films. I've written 30 plus screenplays, options sold or made to movies 25 of those screenplays, and I've starred in a bunch of movies. So I'm an encyclopedia on filmmaking. Okay, Aspera. Now, what that is, is a type of delivery system that's becoming common as far as delivering your films, right? And so what it is, is ultimately a fast version of file transfer protocol, which is FTP, right? And Aspera is, was created by IBM and they're, they make the connection speed as fast as possible, right? It's much different than sending, let's, let's say an email or an attachment or something over the web. You're going at the ground zero speeds and as fast as possible. Understand this, that when you're delivering a film, um, those files for, let's say, the ProRes 422 version of your film, which I go over in delivery. If you want to watch a video on delivery, um, check out the, the, the video. There's a two-part video series on delivering your film. And the key is the ProRes file is usually around 100 gigabytes, right? If it's ProRes HQ, oof, that could be 400 plus gigabytes. And uh, while that could be dragged over to a hard drive. And there's still some, I, I know being on the sales side, there's still some foreign buyers that they prefer a hard drive delivery. So you're selling to a buyer in China or something like that. You put a, pull out that, all that stuff onto a one terabyte hard drive and you physically mail it, right? And so that's, you know, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it's quicker because it, the, the, the FedEx or whatever is going to take a long time. And you know you have to buy the drive, you gotta get the drive, you gotta drag everything over, and that's gonna take a certain amount of time. But Aspera seems to be where everybody's going, digital transfers, because um, as bandwidth gets bigger, um, it, or bandwidth get, gets better, really, uh, there, you can get bigger files across the, the web. In the days of the dial-up modem, this would have taken about 25 years for a, a 100 gigabyte file to go. Um, anyway, so what I wanna get at is that in, Getting those files over, um, you have to watch a lot of times. It's There are places where you can store your information, store your, your film 422 files so that they can do the Aspera um, uh, up uploads, right? Um, if you are a filmmaker that's selling your film to a sales agent distributor, most of the time they're gonna ask for a hard drive because then they can do the Aspera uploads. But I'm putting this out there for somebody that maybe has encountered it. now. I'm just gonna give you a forewarning. If you say, I'm gonna do it on my home computer, send this 100 gigabyte file, boom. Number one, it's going to take, depending on what you have, you may have fiber optic, you may have high speed internet. Um, I have super high speed internet and it's still, I would say, the most I get is like six gigabytes an hour. So divide that, you know, it, it's gonna be well over uh, 12 hours to send that file. And understand that because if you think of the internet like in a gas pedal version, um, because that Aspera is pushing that gas pedal all the way to the metal, <laughs> many times it knocks out the internet for the rest of the house, you know, and I, and I have kids and it's like they're, you know, my son's playing video games or something. He's like, dad, what the hell is going on with the internet? So it, those are issues that you have to face, like especially if you're doing something for your house. So I have things on remote servers. Obviously when I was starting uh, years ago in the company, it was like doing stuff from my computer. So then I realized that Aspera is gonna take all the, you know, if there's this bandwidth, they're gonna go, and we get all this bandwidth and then you can have this little thing to, to send your emails, right? Uh, so, um, be careful of that. But Aspera, again, is just a, really a delivery system where you're gonna drag and drop files and then click send. And then that stuff sends the package over in the most fast way possible as far as a digital delivery goes. If you want more videos and training on filmmaking, check out the link below. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.